Republic of Ireland in the Trinity League. And Alan Smith has joined me, Martin Tyler, to describe it for you. Looking forward to it. Focusing on, I think with good reason. Two in his previous match, a clear danger man for the opposition. This is the lineup for the home side, and we put it out here, Alan, as a 4 4 2. Would you go along with that? Yeah, I think to begin with, it'll be interesting actually. The manager does like to change his shape at times during a match, but it looks like it will start this way. This is the lineup for the away side. Well, we've gone with a 4 3 3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a 4 5 1 if they decide to come over all defensive, this team. But uh, if they're on the front foot, that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems. Uh, back in front of their own supporters today, Martin, after that opening day. I don't know. There's not too much uh, expectancy within this stadium, is there? I think most pundits are pointing towards a lowly finish in the division. They've got an opportunity to prove people wrong here, get three points, and it might be better than many of us expect. But up against a team, I think, can finish in one of the European places because they have got enough quality to do it as long as they all stick together. Popular figure on the refereeing circuit, Seamus MacArthur is the official for this game. Should be a tremendous game, and uh, here we go. To Bennett. He might be through. Got his shot off now. It's over the line, off the underside of the bar. Goal! I think the keeper thought he might get a hand on this, but no chance in the end. one that we'll look at again because it's so eye-catching when that happens very rare really but it's a special goal yeah it really gets the crowd buzzing so Connor they've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here first touch was poor Dennehy Shots on. Shots on here. So he's in again. But not this time. Not a second goal. The goalkeeper saw to that. Yeah, well played the keeper there because he was second favourite. And uh, he did well to stop that. And here's the cross. And the goalkeeper will get this one. No problem. The referee had a good look at the player who was down and decided it was... ...serious enough to stop the game. Well, the injured player has gone off. We're going to get... Well, sometimes we talk about the double whammy, but it's a single whammy here. It's just a penalty. Yeah, the player concerned looked a little relieved. I think he thought he was going to see yellow there. Brilliant save from the goalkeeper. It's a corner. Oh, he's going to pay the penalty for this, but the goalkeeper's done well. Oh, what a stop that was.
That's very good link. That's a real. That's going to be a, a free kick. Well, he strikes it back into play off the crossbar. He's kept it out with this goal advantage. They've now got a corner. Well, the goalkeeper's kept it out, Alan. Yeah, I think he might have seen that light as well. So good hands. by the referee, 1-0 the half-time score. The referee has blown to signal the start. Of and the cross coming in. Buckley, a well saved. Well, that's gone behind, it'll be a corner. Substitution now for the home team. And the referee's given the free kick. Substitution. Well, this is interesting whether the manager is just going to switch things around a little bit. And in comes the header. What a header and what a goal! time in this one and the way he steered it into the bottom left was superb and that's a goal well worth analyzing again so away we go at one all of his passing the shot's on and there's a score here and that has significance because they're now into the lead what a good effort that was first time he smashed through it to find the left hand side of the goal Restart the game. 2-1. Beating. Very confident to get the game moving again. Beating. Well, that's it. The final whistle. The inquest is almost starting now. So soon after the final whistle. About the reasons for this defeat. Yeah, disappointment all round. And maybe one or two will point fingers in the dressing room because...